The overall goal of the following experiments is to perform and manipulate regenerative assays in planarian flatworms using pharmacological and or genetic knockdown methods. The first step is to master the basic amputation and regeneration assay. Next is shown how drugs can be used to subvert regenerative polarity, for example to yield two-headed animals. Finally, a description is given of how to perform in vivo RNAi by feeding in order to examine the effects of loss of function of specific genes. The results show that treatment with the drug Perziquintal subverts regeneration to produce two-headed worms, and genetic knockdown of a beta-catenin isoform produces a grossly similar phenotype. Hi, my name is John Chan, a graduate student in the Marchant Laboratory, and I will be demonstrating these procedures. Visual demonstration of these methods is important because although in itself no individual step is difficult, Overall demonstration of these techniques will assist researchers new to this model system. In preparation for the assay, stop feeding a cohort of approximately 30 planarians for at least 5 days. After starvation, the worm should be between 8 and 10 millimeters long. On the day of the assay, rinse a pre-frozen leveled ice dish with water and cover the flat iced surface with plastic wrap. Using forceps, place one filter paper on the plastic wrap. Moisten the filter paper with a few drops of spring water. Using a transfer pipette, place no more than 20 planarians onto the filter. If necessary, the worms can be repositioned on the filter by repipetting with more spring water. Once the worms are in position, remove any excess fluid. Using a scalpel, amputate the head by making a single cut.